Hello and welcome to the course where you will build a chatbot for a website. My name is Jana and I'll be your instructor helping you get things done. I'm a developer with over 19 years of experience. Your mission here, should you choose to accept it, is to create a chatbot for a web page by the time you finish this course. And in the course we'll be building a sample chatbot. Its purpose is only to show you how things work. Our bot on the page will help us sell products. It will give recommendations and measure demand. And in the process of building this bot, you'll learn all that is needed to build a great bot. To get the most out of this course, you can work on this sample bot and at the end tweak it to suit your needs. You need to have at least basic knowledge of Node.js and React to start with this course. I'm here to help you out. I'll be there all the way. And if you have any questions, let me know. If something is not clear, let me know. This will help me and the course to get better. So go to frequently asked questions and we'll clear things up. To make it easier for you, I've added git commits with changes to every video that has a change in the code. This way you can compare your code to mine and you won't lose time debugging. And remember, for any questions, I'm available in the questions and answers. You are not alone. Just a word of caution, you'll be asked very soon to leave a review. If you're not ready, you can just keep it. Let's go through the steps you'll need to do to complete this mission. I'll tell you a bit about every section of this course. In the first section, we'll take an overview of an app and get familiar with the tech stack, that is technology used in this course. We'll look at application architecture and different ways we can implement it. We'll go through every implementation and I'll take you through development stages. Second section will introduce you to Dialogflow, natural language processor that we'll use to understand what our visitors want from the bot. We'll go through building blocks of Dialogflow. You'll learn about agents, intents, entities, parameters, pre-built agents and more. Then in the third section we'll start building server-side app. We'll install Express Library and generate Express App. We'll configure it for Heroku and deploy to Heroku. We'll also set up local server called Nodemon. When you have a basic server-side app created, you'll be able to connect it to Dialogflow. And that's what we'll do in the section 4. And frontend will be the next step. In fifth section, we set up React, configure local servers, create a proxy for communicating with backend. And we'll create components. Components for the page and for the chatbot. Our chatbot will begin to look like chatbot in the fifth section but we'll really polish it in the sixth section, where we'll create rich messages like cards and quick replies. And we'll also go deeper into dialogue flow feature like follow-up intents, contexts, events, and slot filling. Features that make the bot creation much easier and much friendlier. When our bot is polished, we make it smarter. We want our bot to remember what user says. Therefore, we need to store information that we get from the user. In the seventh section, we'll be saving to database and also use what we know about the user in a conversation to make the bot friendlier. We like if people remember our preferences. It is the same with bots. In the eighth section, I'll show you different ways of implementing handling actions. We'll be using fulfillment. I'll show you how to call fulfillment only for intents that need extra code to be run, only for intents that need to get information from a database or the need to call some other API or maybe connect to a device. When we master fulfillment, we deploy to Heroku. In the ninth section, we'll take care of some extra configuration like routing, possible scripts for generating frontend, and we'll go through the code and make sure that all is as needed before we deploy. And finally, the tenth section. I'll show you how to connect to Dialogflow straight from frontend. To do that, we'll need to make some changes in the architecture. I'll tell you the benefits of every decision. And after the course, you'll have a demo bot that you can tweak and tailor to your needs. And you'll have the knowledge to upgrade it. And one more thing. Dialogflow might change the interface. They roll out new features daily. What I do is re-record videos if the feature is important and changes the development. But if there is only a slight change or a design change, then I leave videos as they are. Therefore, if the interface is a bit different, don't get confused. All that you will need will still be the same. And remember, I do update the course. So if any major changes will come, you will get the fresh and new version out of the box. Okay, are you ready? 
Again, your mission here is to create your first chatbot. Ready? Steady? Go!